Today we're actually going to make some of my cement a little bit different. This is going to be air free with a C, not with a K. It's actually going to be uh, a cement that we can use to actually build with. What I'm going to start with, first of all, super washing soda. That's about half a spoon. Baking soda. Sorry. That's almost going to be a full spoon. We're going to use some Wilsonite. Carbon silicos. One. That's two spoons. Going to get interesting here, guys, because this is my MGO. Okay, this has been expired about four years ago. It should have been thrown in the shelves, thrown in the garbage, but I didn't throw it on. I'm just reusing this old MGO. And as you can tell, it's not MGO making a big powder. If it was dry, it's not. We're going to put two halfway decent scoops in here. <clears throat> MGO. Now, it doesn't hurt to pre-mix a little bit if you want. It's a I need some liquids. Powder. You can probably see if I kind of put here, you know, to where the scale is over here. Okay. Equal amounts of water. Water is hard to tell where it's been in the cement, but the water is right about here. So it's pretty close to being even. I did design this so it's got a lot of flexibility in it. Once I have water, I'm going to show you this. Patience with me. This is not a secret ingredient because I'll, I'll give it out to you. But this is actually about the same amount of the laundry detergent we put in there, super washing soda, about the same amount. That's it. Now, I'm going to do a little bit different. Normally, at this point in time, I'd mix these two together and I'd run my air foam. The gun's down in here and I'd make that foam. And I'd be taking it from this pump over here. I'd be taking it from the pump and taking it from the liquid down here, which is basically my, that's actually the soaps, what you guys refer to down in the pail in here, that's soap. Okay, that foaming agent I explained earlier and I got a few bad comments on it, sorry. I deserved it. So I'm gonna grab some out of there and I'm gonna be putting a pretty much a whole spoon of that particular foaming agent. Okay. This is my actual bubble making stuff, the foam. I'm not gonna make bubbles. We're gonna do a little bit different because you're gonna be amazed. Because when you're using the foaming machines, it's very hard to tell how much foam ratio kind of, it's really difficult to tell. So we're gonna make this very easy. We're gonna add this to the water. Okay, so now, my water level, which you should be able to see a little bit better, is going to be a lot higher. Okay? So I got more water than cement at this point. We're going to take it, combine both of them. Okay, you might want my camera a little closer, I'll, I'll get in a better position. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to use my drill to aerate this. You can see what's happening here, guys. I'm just using the drill to make the air inside the cement. So I don't have to use the pump. Okay. Oops, I don't like these big bubbles. Now, obviously, the more you mix it, the more bubbles you're going to get. Now, I think this is pretty good for air creep per se. Uh, for strength-wise, and probably much better R value than the Portland cement. This is MGO. I made a little sample here earlier. Okay, the little kitty cat. The, the other ones don't matter because that was done before. And if you come over here, where I'm pointing, if you can see, that's the crystal growth on the other product. Now, that's two days old, okay? That's gonna have that hair-like crystal. If the camera guy stays there for a second. This is basically 
Oh, I don't know if you're going to see this very good or not. But the crystals, the hairline crystals are coming out of this. That's what's inside the cement. Okay? Eventually. And that's being made by this formula right here. Okay? Which I'll get into later on. That's act, This is what is actually my crystals. Okay? This particular formula on the magnesium oxide is going to cause crystal growth. Hair line, hair crystals are going to be growing out of this product because these are crystals already. Okay, this is a soluble crystal, and I almost am adding it right into here. We call that a day. Now, I'll let this here. Then I'll make another video with, with a little bit more with this part. Okay, because I know you're going to be baking to have it. But there you have the actual cements put together in front of you. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe. I do have a lot more coming. All right. Thank you.